Hey guys, welcome to a very, very, very late edition of Airbrick and Scottish Australian. I've been doing one for a while. Um, yeah, I'm doing this early morning shave because I've got to go see a job placement company because I'm getting made redundant in December. So I've been busy over at India now teaching them how to do what I do. So I'm going to lose the best job I've ever had in my life. Anyway. <laughs> I've, I've uh, put on, this is the balloon water from <coughs> Frank TFN and I'm using my razor of choice is going to be this is a Parker A1 Air right however I've put the Yaki DLC head on it I was watching um, Kevy Shaves uh, Sunday night or? one night anyway and um, he had the, the new Yaki razor, which is basically it's looks the same as the Parker A1 Air, apart from the design of it's similar four taste. So I thought, hmm, I've, I've been trying out the, the head, the Parker head. It just, as I say, your mileage may vary, but my mileage just absolute. I just keep getting nicks or cuts, or it doesn't matter what I do, what blade I put in, you name it, I got it. So anyway. Um, I decided to try this um, Yaki head, the DLC, and I put in um, a feather blade because that's the, my current blade. So I had a, a good shave Sunday apart from cutting my lip a, wee, <laughs> a little bit. But that was more due to me being in a rush because we were going out. So and then here we are again, I'm in a rush again because I've got the, I've got, as I say, I've got this right management, place management group, and they're sort of there to, um, get you another job hopefully about my age who knows but oh india was good stuck to india was was there for two weeks teaching the indians but great great people honestly great absolutely amazing people couldn't say a bad thing about them it's not their fault that they're uh, getting my job but such is life so i'm just going to see what fine thing well this group can find me another one but anyway this is all about my shave um, well, I mentioned before but I was going to um, do a giveaway when I got to 100 subscribers so I've started gathering stuff for that. It's going to be good stuff but I'm going to find a, cheap, a cheaper price like I've got. I've got the Parasso Green um, in a box, a tub of it, like the soap, unopened. And I found that at the local supermarket, where obviously in Adelaide, or where I am, there's not a lot of people wet shave. So as a result of that, you go into these shops and they start off like they're a bit more expensive, they're about $18 and then slowly but surely, when nobody's buying it, the prices come down. Because you've got that Parasso sandalwood in a tube, massive tube, and it's like $2.50. So I've just got the Parasso Green, which is normally about, you know, maybe um, 14, 15 bucks. I got that for five, so I'm just keeping it out. And then obviously my plan is, my plan is to give a brush, um, a razor, so basically a complete beginner's kit. Apart from maybe, I don't know, put cologne in or not, or aftershave, or I don't know. I was going to give this brush, but I was sort of thinking I might do the Yaki Milky White instead, which is a current travel brush. Because I think I might use this as a travel brush because it's a great little brush. I used this the other day. It's just, this comes from the UK. It was the Red Bear or something it's called. Oh. But anyway. So I stayed in this fancy hotel in India, bloody um, Hilton Golf Links, like a five star hotel. It was amazing. Met all these new LinkedIn contacts. <laughs> so I don't think they're going to send us back, but I was hoping that maybe get back and we take my wife with me. But I don't think that's going to happen. But only time will tell. Don't mind this um, yucky head. 
thing is, what I do, I love the actual razor itself, you know, the design of the park area. Perfect the head. <laughs> it's a bit stupid, but anyway. I like the, um, the little case and like the, it's really small, as in for carrying, it's easy to just, you actually it's probably stick in your pocket and you, you wouldn't notice. I was in town last weekend, in an Apple store, and I've always thought the iPhone 7 is the best size phone for your pocket. But anyway, um, I went in, uh, my wife, Mara, and we, uh, I don't know, I just put my iPhone 7 up against the 11 Pro, because it looked about the same size, and like it's all way millimetres all the way around. So anyway, um, my wife says, just get it. <laughs> I'll see how much it is first. So they offered me like 100 and, 170 trading for my iPhone 7 and I thought, eh, I'll sell it, I could probably get about three. It's currently selling for about the 350. So, I thought, no, I'll not, I'll not trade it in. But anyway, the result of that was, Mara says, well, you, you never know when you're going to be able to get another good phone. Obviously, it's a little bit working. So she says, just get it. I've got the money, so. Because you made up money. We go to India, and like, you get your, your allowance. And I was working um, from early in the morning, so you've got a shift allowance as well. Which normally I want salary, anyway, but I've got a few added extra, you get your per deal. So, bought the phone, got the 256 gigabyte. So, I ordered some cases to sort of, I want it similar to what I've got here on the back of the, the 7, because that, um, it's good for when you're putting on the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to, um, take the magnet off the back of that. I think I might have a spare one in the drawer, I'm not sure how you look. And then, um, put it on the, the case, and then it'll do the same as what I've been doing, swap my case when I'm put, doing filming, and just leave the magnet on the back. So that's not bad, first pass. This stuff, um, I love this stuff. So that and the other one I've got as well, the Her Hercules. Yeah. Uh, so you notice my new towel rack up there in the background? That was fun putting up. We're in a hotel. I mean, the missus, the missus seen one and decided she wanted one. <laughs> so puts it all up, gets it all up. Use my young lad to gauge it where it should go, as in to straighten up. Missus got her hanging it. It was sitting at a slant. So I had to pull one side, side off and uh, <laughs> redo it. But I did it this time. I had Matt, it was there standing watching to make sure I got it straight. It was Matt, Matt, it's actually the best. Normally I've got glasses and I was like doing one of the Facebook things, but yeah. It's not a good sign, but this, the actual new phone's pretty good. It's, I've got the text slightly bigger, so it's good. Anyway, I'll just wrap it along. So, uh, the phone's amazing. So, if any of you are thinking of getting a new phone, that iPhone 11 Pro is tremendous. Mine's about on the dear side, I mean, we were just over 2,000 Australian dollars for it. And then, um, I ended up getting, I had an Apple Care at. Thinking about that now, though. It says to me that um, somebody worked at the shop and didn't have Apple Care Bank, it's a lot of rubbish, and um, dropped his phone and he smashed it, they ended up coming in and buying a new phone. That might have been with uh, the older one, but this thing I think is basically indestructible. However, I've been hearing people say that it's prone to getting all scratches on it with this new glass that they've put on it, but I don't know. 
Unbelievable. I just got a phone call there. So. Funny thing was, I just realized <laughs> when I was on the phone, <laughs> I carried on shaving. <laughs> so, so you missed a bit. But all good. Yeah, all good. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to splice that together as well. Yeah. But it doesn't matter whether you answer or you don't answer when you get a phone call when you're, you're videoing, right? It still stops the video. Anyway, such is life. Yeah, so it's been with I 11 Pro, top phone, and it's a great size for the pocket. I am not like the big phones, I like small phones, like a Hyundai SC and the um, iPhone 7. And what we'd do, because I go on YouTube a lot, I would charge them and then when one started using, losing uh, battery power, I would go in Put it on charge and just pick up the other end, so I had the 7 and the, um, the SE. However, this iPhone Pro, I can't get it to run out, touch wood. It just will not run out of power. You could go right all day for like 5, 6 in the morning to half 12 the following morning and you'll still have it 30% worth. So, as a result of that, um, I thought, well, I didn't need all these phones now. So I've put the, I put the SE up first because that was it. I know, got a woman coming around the night. Hey, look at it, she's probably going to bet. And then once my case has come from my can, I'm going to get rid of this beauty. But uh, the 7 was a beautiful set. It's a beautiful phone. This is 128 gig at 7. But it's a great phone, but in today's day and age, you need something a bit better. Uh, Especially the cameras on that Pro, it's just, oh, the phone's just totally amazing, but anyway, that's me, I'm an Apple boy now, I used to be an Android boy, I used to bloody always buy Androids, and then it looks like now, I'm, I'm a fully fledged Apple boy, I'm going against the grain, no, I'm going, hey, I'm against the grain, <laughs> didn't even care where I'm going, so, I'm going, when I finish here, I've got a, Get dressed, I've got a car park booked in town in Adelaide and I'm going to go in to see these people. So, uh, a couple of hours, two, three hours, I'll see. And then I'll get back here and hopefully that woman will be on her way to pick up the new phone. Well, her new phone, but my old phone. watching here with the, um, the lip. That's what it cuts. It was just me. I was in a rush and I thought, oh, this is easy. This. I thought, compare, I was thinking, I was comparing it to the A1R. And I said, so, <laughs> like, this is, don't give us any necks, it's not doing nothing. So I was, I was impressed with it that much that I started on probably going over the top to get a, a really close shave. I think I'm going to stick with this head. Yeah, I'm going to stick with this head and I'm just going to probably just pull this section here, just go out of one minute. I've got a soap on brush, I might not be using it. I'm going to be using um, Kishia. You don't want to watch it, you just want to. But then it kind of let me go because I've got to put this bit together in the idea. So I'm going to be using. Um, is it the hair? I've got the hairdresser every six weeks. Me and the wife, and we get my um, hair 
Well, she gets hers colour and cut and all the rest of it. And I think uh, a number, number two, but last time we got a number one round the bottom and number two up top. That's what the youngies are wearing, so that. <laughs> youngies. Uh, I'll do, I'll try that. So I did. And, um, <laughs> so the woman that's there, she's like trying to buy me stuff a little bit. But she got me an American crew and she's got the whole range. But the last time she, um, I ended up, I got some shave cream, but uh, basically it's, you didn't use a brush on it, so I'm not off done, but I got it anyway. So this time they got moisture moisturizer. Bam! Well, no, it's moisturizer actually. And um, aftershave. So, I thought, so she's happy to sell trap. <laughs> so I no longer a shave, so I come in, went on, put it, put the balm on. Rubbed it out. It was really nice. Put the aftershave, put it on. Went and let the missus smell it, see what she thought. It was she, she liked it, so there you go. So I bought, bought an aftershave and a balm. So I'm going to be using that today. Because the balm's really nice. It's really, um, yeah, it gives you a really good skin softening sort of thing. It's, I'm really impressed with it. But I should be using it bloody in. Close to thirty-five dollars a bottle. I think the aftershave was about the aftershave maybe fifty-five, uh, ninety all that was. So now uh, seems like a, ah, this sort of gear probably will be a bit when we're um if I don't get a job, I won't be able to live. This style we've come accustomed to. <laughs> E.g. I stay in hotels every six weeks to get a haircut. <laughs> you go get a haircut and the time you pay your hotel bills and your sort of your drink bill. Yeah. Actually last week, weekend, well it was last weekend, weekend before. Um what friends over from the UK and they were in New Zealand. And they just popped in uh, Adelaide for a couple of days. So I had dinner with them on uh, the Friday and a few drinks. Okay, that's going to do me. She was. Um, the Kevy Shaves thing here. I'm going to want to stop this and then clean my face with the soap or the cream and then restart it again. Well, you were away. <laughs> um, I put on some of this. It's very nice, but it's kind of the really same. I'm still trying to figure out whether I like it or not. It's sort of got a funny, funny scent. The aftershave's nice, but I'm not, just no sure about the arm. But the actual um, finish, like when you're, after you've applied it, so it, it matches your skin soft as anything. I'm going to want to use that, which is the um, American Crew aftershave, which is, it's in this bottle here. It's the bottle that you get with it. Uh, I think you probably bet it's cheaper um, online, but like I said, we go to that. This other time I'm just going to put some on my hand. There, I might spray my face. Do you know the knife to the face style? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, you know it doesn't work, so let's try. I think it's speed down the air. <laughs> okay, boys. Lovely shave. I've got to go and get the means and. Uh, the rest of it. So, I don't know how long it's going to go for, I'll just have to see you later. But anyway, have a good one. See you all later. See you. Bye.